Cleveland police still searching right now for the person they say opened fire on a crowded West 6th Street early Sunday morning. As we've reported, nine people were shot, and right now we're hearing that some of those victims still cannot believe they were part of a mass shooting. Our Kaitor case spoke with one of the people who was there when this all unfolded. He joins us live in the warehouse district. Kaitor, what are these people saying? I mean, this is so scary. Yeah, terrifying. So we actually caught up with Chris Messina, who was here early Sunday morning at Barley House with some of his clients. And one of his clients actually got shot in the leg. It's pretty crazy because Messina says he was a visitor from Poland who had just landed in the U.S. for business six hours before the shooting. Messina is the president of Radcon, a local furnace manufacturer. And they were training a few men from Poland who had arrived late Saturday. Saturday night. They came to Barley House here on West 6th Street for a night of fun and a welcome to America. But when they were leaving the bar at 2.30 a.m., gunshots rang out on the sidewalk and nine people got hit. Messina heard here describing the experience. You just react. You know, you don't really, like the, the first thing that happened with the first shots everybody's like frozen like there's this second or two where you can't you don't know what's really happening you're trying to process it and then it's everybody does their own thing whether it was getting on the ground crawling then while we're standing there um the, one of the guys with us noticed the hole in his jeans literally and then oh i'm bleeding Messina shares that one of the Polish business clients had been grazed by a bullet on his thigh, but he wants to remain anonymous. They took him to Metro Health and he was released a few hours later, Messina calling him a very lucky guy, also hoping that Cleveland police catch this gunman as soon as possible. Now new at five, gun violence on the rise. Cleveland PD is sharing us with us some new data that compares this year's shootings to last year's. All right, Kaitor K, thank you for following this story. We look forward to hearing your next report at 5 o'clock.